very happy. <laughs> I can sense the joy. Uh, let's jump into our top story this morning. We're talking about the highly contagious Delta strains accounts for one third of cases in the UAE. So please take note. We talked about it yesterday. COVID cases are on the rise. And at last night's pre- press briefing, and Seema confirmed in comparison to last week, there was an increase in the number of deaths in the country due to these new variants, people who are not getting the vaccine and, of course, not abiding by those general guidelines. So you may have heard mentions of the Delta variant recently. This is a variant, a strain of COVID-19 that spreads rapidly in comparison to others. And also recent data highlights that hospitalization rate doubles with the Delta variant. And now that particular strain accounts for one third of cases in the UAE. So they basically stress the importance of getting your shots, getting the vaccine, getting the booster if you need to, because we are seeing cases rise. I told you yesterday in the last 24 hours, there were 10 deaths. And again, today, uh, there is another increase. I don't have the number here. Uh, but 2,122 cases in the last 24 hours. It's a lot. Um, we're getting the latest. Yesterday, there was a huge kind of uh, divulge of information from the government uh, in terms of you know traveling. The al Hussein app is back up and running. The Although we are, um, I think we have 90% of the eligible population are vaccinated, we are still... in the midst of a pandemic. There's still a variant which is more contagious than we could have imagined a year ago among us, and we still need to abide by those rules. Yeah, and um, Dr. Farida al Husni she also added that the country had increased, I mean, the rates have, cases have increased recently due to the spread of mutations, lack of commitment to preventive measures, and the reluctance to get vaccinated. So like Casey said, I think what's really important here is to get vaccinated, especially with the contagious Delta variant spreading and being accountable for so many of the most of the cases over here. And if you're thinking of traveling, they particularly recommend to make sure that you're vaccinated before leaving. The fact that it's open for us in the country is so amazing. The fact that it's free, the fact that it's so easy to get it. Like I said, um, the al app, there were issues, but it's back up and running. And if you're having any issues, they have a hotline that you can call. But if you're traveling, they really, really, really recommend you get the vaccine. Um, so take note, we are very fortunate. We're in such a privileged position to be here. Uh, City even recommending that you guys all go and get it. Um, so that is the latest. You can get all of that on Twitter and SEMA, which is the National Center My, uh, Crisis Management Authority. That's where we get our information and you can get it directly from the horse's mouth right there. Yeah, and for those who don't really know what the alpha, beta, delta variants are, so uh, what the World Health Organization did is they named these variants after Greek letters instead of saying it's from the UK or it's from India or it's from Africa. So they've given it Greek letters. So that way, you know, it it doesn't uh, lead to racism or doesn't lead to, uh, you know, different kind of bullying or any any form of negativity surrounding the nationalities. 100 percent. It removes the stigma. It removes a president of a certain country, labeling a country by a virus. Yeah. Um, It takes away the stigma and makes it kind of uh, more international for us to kind of speak about it more openly. Because these uh, mutations are natural, like it will form here or there. And then exactly like you said, like relating it to a certain nationality. just uh, makes way for so much bullying and crimes not crimes like hate and uh, you know like hate crimes so this is a great move by the World Health Organization but um, moving on to five reckless drivers